So first thing, go to Google, type in Ketuner. Click on Ketuner LLC. And then click on Downloads. And then click on Download again. Choose the location that you want to save the file to. I choose Desktop. It's going to take about 10 seconds for the download to finish. Once it's done, just open it up, install it, again choose the location where you want it to install it to. And then go through the whole process. Here I choose to install a version 1.2 because that's what I have for the kit tuner. And then just go through the whole process again. This is how it looks like when you open it up without connecting the kit tuner into the computer. The red area says um, no K2 no device is found. Insert a K2 no device to get started. So plug your K2 no device into your computer. Type in your email address and create a password. Then click on register. Okay, this next step is very important. Make sure you do this before attempting to flash your car ECU. You will get an error for sure if you haven't done this step. Check your laptop battery power option. Make sure that the power saver is not selected. So go into your control panel, then battery power options, and uncheck the power saver. Then just to make sure, change the timer to never for the option for when the computer sleeps and when to turn off the display. Now that's out of the way, you can plug the K-Tuner device, mine is version 1.2, into your OBD port. Then connect the other end of the cable to your laptop USB port. Alright, so... You're going to have the car in accessory mode by clicking the start button twice. Open up the k tuner program. And then it's going to ask you, would you like to lock this k tuner unit to the ECU? You would need to revert to stock and unlock the unit before it can be resold. Just click on yes. And then click on connect. My laptop is pretty slow, it's really old, that's why. On the bottom left corner it says communicating. After that you're gonna go into file, click on new tune. Click next. You're gonna see all these um, stages. I wanna pick the starter duos target 21 PSI. I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to click upload base code. It's going to say, is, um, please make sure your laptop is not on power saving mode. Blah, 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 blah. You sure you want to erase your ECU and upload the base code? Click yes. And then I'm gonna click flash now to flash directly to the ECU. It says preparing. All right, so now it says erasing. And then you're gonna see all these um, error messages popping up on your dashboard. Don't be alarmed, because it's resetting, so that's what it does. It's going to take a few minutes. More error messages.
now it says uh, flashing do not disconnect still more error messages I'm gonna come back when it's done all right, so about five or ten minutes later, it's done flashing. Uh, it's giving me a message saying, please key the vehicle off for a few seconds. Turn the key back on and wait a few seconds before hitting OK. So I'm going to turn the car off. I'm going to wait a few seconds. One, two, three. I'm going to turn it back on accessory mode. So I push it twice, once, twice. So now it's in accessory mode. And then I'm gonna click OK. That's it guys. It says successful. Click OK to continue. So I just successfully flash my car with the uh, dual base uh, 21 PSI. Um, so I'm gonna test it out by turning on the car to see if it's on. Alright, so my car is on, back on again.